Grand Rising, welcome to the channel Excellence, where we strive to be excellent. We strive to be one better than what we were yesterday. And we're going to talk about procrastination. See, a lot of people will take their time, but you are responsible for your procrastination. You must get up out of your bed and take care of your business. See, when you're working on a project, you must be able to see that project from finish to end and see where you will be at in that project. It's called using your visualization. Visualizing what you want. Work towards the things that you want and make sure you accomplish it. A lot of people are gonna tell you they're gonna help you, but they are gonna procrastinate. They're gonna slow you down. It's gonna slow your process. But in the same time that it's slowing your process, it's also showing you which route you need to take first. So just focus on one piece of your puzzle at a time and put it together. And remember, when putting a puzzle together, it may have 400 pieces in it. You can spread them all out on the table, but no one will really buckle down and start working on that puzzle until 80% of it is done because that's when they start seeing the picture. And that's when you will work harder towards it to get it finished. And then when you get it finished, you will see your picture. It'll be goof proof, picture perfect. See, but you got to line all of your pieces up. Pick out what colors go together first and then put them together and then add it all into the picture. See, time has come when we got to wake up and wake up within ourselves and ask ourselves, what do we want to do? How are we going to make a change in ourselves? See the things that you want in life. Visualize it. Get a clear conception of it. Follow the processes. Follow the steps. And you will achieve every goal that you put forth. You are a human being. You are a creator. Born with unlimited capacity for improvement. Create your world through your thinking, reasoning, willing, and your understanding. Choose your words wisely. Know that words save, create, and destroy. Now, if you're trying to create something great, you better try to find creating words. Words that create greatness. See, when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I do when I go in any door is say I'm finna send nothing but positive energy and love into this room. See, you bring the energy in because no power plant that I have ever seen generates energy. It gets the energy from its sources. So a lot of the positive energy and a lot of the love that I display, the energy comes from the people that are in the room that are too scared to display it. So I'm using your energy, but I'm using it wisely, not foolishly. Where you choose to use your energy foolishly, another person may use it wisely and collect that energy. So use your energy wisely generate more energy because more energy the more power you got the more you can pull the more weight you can pull you get 12 people that can pull weight together that have the same heart and mind because that heart and mind can be generated and linked together because Jesus said take my yoke unto thee and unite with thy brothers and sisters see that's a yoke See, so when you take that yoke and unite with your brothers and sisters, you unite in unconditional love first and in peace and harmony and everything all will be well. Everything will come out just the way that you put it together and planned it. Now, it's time for us to step up. I'm excited about my new project. I'm trying to take as many as many people as I can to the next level with me. Now let's go. 
I'm not trying to leave no one behind. No one. If you have the thinking, reasoning, willing, and the ability to raise your thoughts to better yourself, to be a part of the uplifting of fallen humanity, one of the world's best friends, then stand up, stand up, and stand up. I come to y'all in love. I leave y'all in peace. I'm out.